Hi, my name is Brother Zach, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a game using the K12 Game Builder. So here I am, I've logged into my account, and I'm going to click on the green Create New Interaction button. From here, I want to select Games, and now Board Game. Now, of course, for the sake of this presentation, I'm fast forwarding through some of this decision making process. So I'm going to click Create Now. And here I am in my game. I'm ready to input my material. Here's a welcome screen. Now I can start adding questions. I can add the correct answer, of course the incorrect answer for each question. I can also select whether I want a multiple choice question, a multiple answer question, meaning there is more than one correct answer and all of the correct answers need to be chosen in order to receive credit, or a true false question. Once I've added all of my questions, I can scroll down, I can select to add more questions if I need to. Now with this particular game, with board game, there are a minimum of nine questions required, but I can choose up to 20 of them. I can also add the conclusion screen, relabel the play it again button, the continue button, all these things are very simple. And as you can see here, I have a basic word editor, so I can change the font, I can change the size, bold, italics, underline, color, all of these basic things. Another great thing I can do is let's say that in one of my questions, let me go back up there, let's say I'm making a quiz for states. I can add a picture in this question of the outline of a state. Maybe I want to add a picture of Texas and the question is name this state. I can also add audio files. Uh, these need to be in mp3 format but very simple to upload. Once I do that, if I'm happy with what I have, I can preview it or if I'm all done I can just click on the save button. Once I click on the save button, it's going to bring me up a prompt here. I label it, I can add any notes, click on save, and that's it. I've just created a game. So now how do I get it out to my students? Well, let me go to my save files. And just so you can see what one looks like, if I mouse over any one of these, I can simply click on the publish button. And from here I have two options. I can either download it to my computer, if I choose that, then it's going to give me the ability to download an HTML5 zip file, or what's fantastic is I can just share this right now. Let's say that I communicate with my class with a, a weekly email to their parents, or maybe I have a school website that I can post links to, or maybe I have a, a, a teacher's blog that I can actually embed this in. If I want to post a URL so that my students can just click on a link and take the test, there it is. If I want to embed this in maybe a blog or a website, there it is. And it's as easy as that. I've just built a completely customized game for my students with material that I want them to focus on. And now they can take it either in the classroom or at home, or maybe I've created a game for a quiz review for a test coming up on Monday. There are a thousand different ways to use this. But that's how simple it is to use the K-12 Game Builder. Thanks very much. Have a great day.